ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, elected officials, uh, we're welcome to have uh, U.S. Representative William Keating, uh, Mass State Representative David Vieira, uh, multiple members of the Board Selectmen, all of them, thank you for coming, uh, Chair Mary Jane's Mr. Suyano, uh, Melissa Ferretti, Jean Azarovitz, Peter Meyer, Anne Marie Cerrone, Town Administrator Marlene McCullen, and Town Clerk Barry Johnson. Uh, I'd also like to thank the members of the community, the current local chiefs that are here from both police and fire, the retired chiefs, and all the other public safety officers that are here. My name is Deputy Chief Richard Emberg, and thank you for joining us today for such a significant occasion. I am honored to be able to be part of the swearing in for the new fire chief, David Flanzi, swearing in of Assistant Fire Chief Joseph Carrera, Deputy Chief Kyle Lima, Lieutenant Scott LaBelle, and Josh Barrett. Along with the presentation of years of service for the members of the Bourne Fire Department. The role of Fire Chief is one of immense responsibility, leadership, dedication. It is a position that demands a deep commitment to the safety and well-being of this community and to the brave men and women of this department. The ability to lead with wisdom and integrity as Chief Polanzi would say, it never ends. And he is correct with that statement. Chief Polanzi has demonstrated these qualities time and time again. He has risen, risen through the ranks on, with unwavering dedication, always placing the needs of this town before his own. Chief Polanzi and I were firefighters together on group two. And I think at some point, we had spent more holidays together than when our families. It didn't matter the call, Chief Polanzi always gave it 100%. But we also had some laughs doing it, losing a contact in the back of the ambulance with a patient, helping someone who was hit by some falling prices, some of which made our deputy want to pull his hair out. But today we recognize his hard work and his sacrifice and his countless hours preparing for this moment. I could go on and on for all the things he had done. But again, that list would never end. Studying for promotional exams, master's degree, four years of the executive fire officer at the National Fire Academy, his work in obtaining over $690,000 in grants to this department. Some of his training has taken away from his family, long hours, uh, and many training classes all over the country, including Baltimore. And without his wife Maureen by his side, none of this would have happened. And for, for her support, and should I say her sense of humor, for every time he called her and said, hey, what do you think about me taking this class? Yeah. Now that list would never end. The fire chief stands as a beacon of hope and safety for the members who risk their lives day to day to protect us. But today is not just about Chief Polanzi. It is about the in entire department and community. We serve and trust we place in our leaders. And now I'd like to invite Town Administrator Marlene to come up for a few words. Thank you for inviting us to share in this celebration with you. I'm happy for the opportunity to be here with you to welcome Chief Polanzi to his command of the Bourne Fire Department. I will be the first to admit that I don't understand what goes into running a fire department. But in my opinion, Bourne has a really, really good one. I think that the chief is responsible for setting that positive tone and helps to cultivate that environment but he can't grow a great department all by himself. What became most obvious to me as I witnessed this leadership transition is how highly professional and disciplined the department is, how invested everyone is in Dave's success, and how much you sincerely care about each other. I watched this group pull together to support Chief Polanzi in this, in this endeavor. I watched and listened to all the candidates who took the chief's exam talk about how critical it is to work together as a unit and the benefits of operating as a healthy team. It is clear that this is a department that thinks and cares deeply about its mission and its people. I'm looking forward to working with Chief Polanzi and to do my part too. We have a lot to keep us busy. We have a new station to build and two more to bring into good repair. 
We have staffing and funding puzzles to solve and new threats and challenges to prepare for. I'm thankful that Chief Cody graciously allowed me to work with Dave directly while he was assistant chief, and we had time to get to know each other and to build trust. It made our ability to transition together so much easier, and we were able to stay focused on moving forward without hopefully missing a beat. I'm grateful to all of you here who have worked so hard for years, decades, to build such a remarkable department. And I'm excited to see where the chief will lead us next. As we move forward with the ceremony, let's take a moment to reflect on the significant role and immersive responsibility it is that carries as being the fire chief. The oath the fi that Fire Chief Polanzi is about to take is a solemn promise to uphold to the highest standards of service, to lead with honor and never waver in the face of adversity. It is now my honor to invite Fire Chief Polanzi, along with retired Beverly Fire Chief Ken Polanzi, to do the badge pinning. Please come forward, Barry Johnson and everybody. Um, I too want to, I'm the Barry Johnson, the town clerk, and um, I also want to echo the great remarks that uh, Marlene just said, and I could concur totally with what she said on your behalf. Um, and it's uh, wonderful that I have this opportunity to actually swear you into office because I'm the only one to make it legal once it's done. <laughs> so I intend to do that. So I, everybody kind of knows me. I have to say something. So I just want to say some, this. Um, and I want to thank uh, former Chief Steve Philbrook and Lieutenant uh, Phil Tora for giving me this information. And I think it's important for the history of the town that uh, outside of my grandfather, who was the first born fire chief, he served from 1924 to 32. As a selectman, I've sworn in, I've appointed two uh, former chiefs, and I've sworn in six others. So David, you will always be known as number 16. <laughs> <laughs> so with enough of that, so let, I have to administer two oaths to each and every individual uh, who will come up uh, before us, okay? Uh, I'm just going to ask him, when I say I, he's just going to say his name. It's quite lengthy and it's not fair to have him memorize this. Also, raise your right hand. I, David Palanzi, do solemnly swear that I will bear truth and allegiance to and will defend and uphold the Constitution of the United States of America, the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and the bylaws of the town of Bourne, so help me God. I, David Palanzi, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and partially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent on me as fire chief of the Bourne Fire Department and will obey and be bound by such rules and regulations as are or may be from time to time set by the administration of the town of Bourne, so help me God. I, David Palanzi, hereby accept the position of fire chief of the Bourne Fire Department. Second one. Do you solemnly swear that you will faithfully and partially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon you as the duly appointed fire chief of the town of Bourne in accordance with the bylaws of the town of Bourne, the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and the Constitution of the United States? I do. Congratulations. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great privilege to introduce you to the new sworn-in fire chief of the Warren Fire Department, David Plonzi. Please join me in congratulating.
I don't know how to follow that. Um, thank you, Rich and, and Marlene as well. Uh, thanks everyone for coming and joining today. I got a couple of words prepared, but I want there are so many people I need to thank, but I want to kind of keep this brief because today is not about me. First, to the original Chief Polonzi. Growing up, I knew there was nothing else I wanted to do in my life other than this. Um, I could not have done it without you and mom, your love and support. You've supported me through everything, even when I kind of dropped out of college because I kept skipping class to ride the ambulance. Um, without your support and guidance, I would not be here doing what I love. Uh, Chief Philbrick, thank you for hiring me and giving me my first professional firefighter career job. Again, I couldn't do it without you. Um, I've learned so much from all the officers I've worked for uh, throughout my years. Bob Berry, my first deputy, taught me how to remain calm under pressure. Nothing would faze him. Deputy Kingsbury taught me how important it is to have service before self and dedication to your community. Uh, Chief Cody, I, you have done so much for me throughout my years, both working as a firefighter with you really quick on shift three when I got hired, then as you got promoted up through your um, professionalism, integrity, and dedication has led me to where I am, and you've so much prepared me for what I'm going to do now. Thank you. Um, thank you to my boss, Town Administrator McCollum, for her confidence in my ability to lead this department. Thank you to my family. The support you guys give me lets me do what I do, whether it's putting up with writing EFO papers at 2 in the morning, um, eight hours locked in the basement studying for promotional exams or the soothing sounds of my pager going off at two in the morning to go out on a call. You've been there and I couldn't have done this without your love and support. Um, and finally, to the amazing group of men and women that I work with, you, what you do makes my job easy. Your dedication to this community goes above anything I've ever seen and it just makes my job so much easier to do this. Thank you for everything you do. I want to give you all the tools to keep doing great things. That's all I have for this. I want to continue because we have a lot more people to swear in. So, thank you. Uh, once again, congratulations uh, to the Carrera family and, uh, and Joe and your a new appointment and new position. So, as I just did it. So when I say I, you just say I. Joseph John Carrara Jr. Do solemnly swear that I will be a true faith and allegiance to, and will defend and uphold the Constitution of the United States of America, and the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So help me God. I. Joseph John Carrara Jr. Do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and partially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent on me as assistant fire chief of the Bourne Fire Department and will obey and be bound by such rules and regulations as are or may be from time to time set by the administration of the Bourne Fire Department, so help me God. I hereby accept the position of assistant fire chief to the town of Bourne Fire Department. Second one, do you solemnly swear that you will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon you as the duly appointed assistant fire chief of the town of Bourne in accordance with the bylaws of the town of Bourne, the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and the Constitution of Massachusetts of the United States. Congratulations, Joe. Deputy Chief Lima, you are up. You can stay too, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can stay up here. If that works. Look forward to working with you as a deputy. Worked well together on my shift. I know you do great things. Once again, congratulations on your appointment, and I'm sure you're going to do very well as the deputy fire chief. So, same thing. Would you raise your 
Right hand, please. I, I do solemnly swear that I will bear truth, faith, and allegiance to, and will defend and uphold the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, so help me God. I, I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and partially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent on me as Deputy Fire Chief of the Bourne Fire Department and will obey and be bound by such rules and regulations as are or may be from time to time set by the administration of the Bourne Fire Department, so help me God. I, I hereby accept the promotion of the position of Dep Deputy Fire Chief for the Town of Bourne Fire Department. Second one, do you solemnly swear that you will faithfully and partially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon you as the duly appointed Deputy Fire Chief for the Town of Bourne in accordance with the bylaws of the Town of Bourne, the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and Constitution of the United States. Congratulations. Congratulations to both of you and to your families. Okay, uh, so you both know we talked about it. And uh, when I say I again, you'll do the same thing. Okay, I do solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to and will defend and uphold the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, so help me God. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and partially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me as a fire lieutenant of the Bourne Fire Department and will obey and be bound by such rules and regulations as are or may be from time to time set by the administration of the Bourne Fire Department, so help me God. I accept the promotion of fire lieutenant for the town of Bourne Fire Department. Next. Do you solemnly swear that you will faithfully and partially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon both of you as appointed as fire lieutenants for the town of Bourne in accordance with the bylaws of the town of Bourne, the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and the Constitution of the United States? I do. Congratulations. back again. I'd like to uh, welcome uh, Mass Representative David Vieira to uh, say a few words. And Mass Representative Stephen Zaros. Yes, sir. What an exciting day, right? A future, a new future for the department that builds on the success of this department. You know, I have three towns in my district. And one of the things that Bourne always stands out for me is the strongest sense of community. It's like unbelievable. And this department has gone through some transitions and it's going to go through another transition as we look at the new station and everything else. But the command staff all the way down to the frontline officers have a commitment to this community second to none. And so it was important for Representative Exaros and I to be here today to just say thank you. Congratulations to the new officers, and thank you for your ongoing work, dedication, and commitment to the public safety and the lives of the residents that are in our district here in Bourne. We were in session for 23 hours 
on the last session, the last night, and most of you in uniform know this, but one of the things that we were pushing and working on, and your representatives of the fire service were in that gallery all night long until the sun came up, and that was to pass the PFAS bill that will require the manufacture, research, development of turnout gear that will not harm those that wear it. It's going to be a little while to do that because we don't have good technology right now, but this will ban the sale and use in a time frame which will require the research and development to make sure that we from the Commonwealth protect you who are protecting our citizens. And so thank you very much. Keep up the good work and congratulations to the new command staff. Fantastic. Very well said, Representative Vieira. I am Stephen Exaros. I am your state representative. If you live in certain parts of Bourne, Representative Vieira and I share this great town. Me, I was a police officer for 40 years in the town of Yarmouth, so it's great to be in this world. I understand public safety, I understand service, and I understand sacrifice. I lost my own son in war. I have a son that's a police officer in Yarmouth. And um, we have to have your backs. And it can't be just talk. So when Dave and I go to work in Boston, in the People's House, we mean it. And he's right. We passed the PFAS law during a 23-hour session in Boston. That is the first law in the country banning the chemical that's killing our firefighters. So all of you as, as family members, you should know that. These firefighters never should have that in their equipment. We didn't know it, but now we do. So it is now illegal, and it will be phased out, and then it's our job to buy you new turnout gear. And it doesn't matter what it costs, really. It's your lives. Many of my friends died from cancer. Rick Knowlton from Hyannis, Tom Kenny from Hyannis, Flippy from Dennis. Those are all real people that have passed on while serving as firefighters. So Dave and I are proud to make that law. We're not done yet. Today's a day to celebrate. And Chief and all your people, you have a great department. And you're right, it's about the people. Your job is to lead them and have their backs, and I know you will. God bless you, Chief. Thank you. We have some official tokens of the recognition for the advancements today to the command staff. Congratulations. I'm going to take a minute to read this out loud. So they all say the same thing. This is what they say. This is an official citation from the Massachusetts House of Representatives. Commonwealth of Massachusetts House of Representatives, which is 160 men and women, be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers our sincerest congratulations to each one of you in recognition of your service as a born firefighter, the entire membership, 160 strong, extend our very best wishes and express the hope that future good fortune and continued success in all your endeavors. Given this day, the 26th of September, 2024, from the State House, the People's House, in Boston, Massachusetts, by the Speaker of the House, Robert Mariano, by David Vieira, and being your state representative, Stephen Towers, we really appreciate your service and will always be there to support you.
like to uh, invite up uh, Born Selectman Peter Meyer. Thank you um, for allowing us to, uh, to be a part of your ceremony today. My name is Peter Meyer, and I am a member of the select board here in town. Um, with me is our chairperson, Mayor Jane Masvangelo, our vice chair, Melissa Ferretti, our clerk, and Marie Cerunian, or Tina Ravitz, and Marie Cerunian, and myself. I'm, I'm entitled to make mistakes. I'm getting old. Um, I'm, I'm here to speak on not on behalf of the board, but this is personal to me. And the reason for this is, is four out of five of you, I watched you from your first day that you came into the fire service to, to where you are now and how you evolved and moved up through being a lieutenant, deputy chief, assistant fire chief, and then uh, with, with David Polanzi, now the fire chief. Each of them have their own and unique qualities where Dave Polanzi has the fire service ingrained in his blood with his father as the public safety commissioner out of Beverly. We have Joseph Carrara Jr. who started off his um, given back, back by uh, working for the Honorable uh, former State with Tom Cahir and then ultimately going uh, to the fire service and working his way up and through Hazmat and then as lieutenant and now, and now deputy and now the assistant chief. Um, and his father was in public safety at Mass Maritime Academy as well. Uh, we got uh, Kyle Lima. Who is who became a neighbor of mine? You know, his family has the house across the street from me, and I got to learn about Kyle over the years, especially through the eyes of his family. And I see what how much he loves his job here and what and what he, what he means to this community. We're very lucky to have him, um, and it's a testament to that. And then we have Scott LaBelle, who I can remember when he, I can remember when Scott started, and when my mother's car, who was a secretary here, and a car broke down, Scott was the one to help him out. Help her out. So, and then Joshua Barrett's the one I really don't know much much about, but I want to get to know. I mean, I've heard great things about Josh, but the point I'm trying to make, I ramble on too long, is we develop from the ground up. You know, it, it's a testament of, of Dave Cody. Um, you know, when, when he was the former chief, and he developed this talent. And this is what you want. You know, you, you start at the bottom as a firefighter, paramedic, or firefighter, EMT, and you work your way up the ladder. And it shows. It shows the height and the determination that you have for our community, and we're a better community for it. And also on our police side, we have Brandon Nitzip worked his way up from patrolman all the way up to sergeant, lieutenant, and now the chief. So in this town, we develop our own. And that's a great thing because you work hard, the incentive is there, and we reward great work. So congratulations to all of you um, on behalf of the board and uh, best of luck, and we're here for you if you need anything. Thank you. Now we want to take some time to recognize some of the firefighters and officers here for Bourne that have given 20 years of service or more. Um, when I first got sworn, sworn in as a firefighter in 1999, uh, it was at the old Main Street station out back and it was during a cookout and the Chief Philbrick at the time did years of service awards and it's not something we've done a lot since then and I think it's important to recognize the dedication of the men and women that work for us. So we have gotten years of service awards for anyone that has worked 20 years or more. So uh, first is Assistant Chief Joe Carrera. <laughs> 32 years in the fire service. Next is uh, retired Chief David Cody for 30 years of service. We have a number of personnel that are actually not here today and could not make it. We'll recognize them at the end. Uh, next is Firefighter Dana Dupuy for 31 years in the fire service.
Deputy Chief Richard Emberg, 24 years of service. <laughs> Lieutenant Greg Edgecombe, 28 years of service. Deputy Chief Ryan Hayden, 23 years of service. <laughs> Lieutenant Chris Santos, 25 years of service. And Lieutenant Phil Turra, 39 years of service. In addition, we uh, also got years of service awards for Lieutenant Penny Eldridge for 28 years of service, Captain Ken Gerard for 33 years of service, Firefighter Tom Swartz for 32 years of service, Lieutenant Gil Taylor, 39 years of service, and Deputy Chief Paul Weeks, 32 years of service. They could not be here today. Thank you everyone for coming out and supporting your fire department. I appreciate all of you. That's all I have for today. Thank you.